What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is John Marshall. I'm a web developer and you know what this means? Well, this means that I spend most of my day in VS Code coding and after years of experience, I found the perfect set of settings, layouts, themes, extensions and many more. All of this made me 10 times more productive and what I want to do today is share everything with you. So without any further ado, let's dive right in. All right, so we're now on my screen and as you see, this is a freshly installed instance of VS Code. It does not look very nice. Nevertheless, we will change that in a second. What I want you first of all get started with are the shortcuts. Because at the end of the day, shortcuts make everything way faster and it's very important that you know some basic shortcuts. And the first shortcut I want to share with you is Command J or in other words, Control J if you use Windows. Now this shortcut is there to open your terminal or in other words close your terminal and this is way faster than if you would do it manually because to do it manually you have to go to the top terminal new terminal this takes way too long time so command j is very fast and it's very important that you know that the second shortcut I want to share with you is for the sidebar. So right here on the left side, we have a sidebar as you see, and to open it manually, you have to click on the icons. This is not very fast. So what we can do is use again a shortcut, which is Command B, or in other words, Control B. This opens your sidebar as you see, and this is again way faster and saves a lot of time, and is also way better ergonomically. The third shortcut I want to share with you is right here Command P, or again Control P. With this you open this quick open view finder thing can I call it like that with this you can find all your files in your project so let's say I want to navigate to my index page so page.tsx I just type the name and then I can already open that this is way faster than if you would do it manually because you would have to open the explorer then you would have to go in the app folder page.tsx this takes way too long time so what I always do is just Control p or command p and then I just search what I need so for example the package.json and yes, it's already open. This is way faster and this is probably my most used shortcut in VS Code. All right, and it's now time to come to the fourth shortcut. And this is right here for the top, right here we see a nav bar. And now let's say we want to close the file. How do we do that? Well, right here we have an X icon. Now this takes a bit long to click. You have to use your mouse, you don't want that. So you can use a shortcut, which is Command W or Control W. With this, you can close all your files that you want. This is again very fast as you see, and you don't have to use your mouse. All right, so now let's come to the fifth shortcut. And this is again right here for our files. Let's now say we don't want to close one file, but we want to close all files. We want to again start fresh. How do we do that? Well, we use Command KW or again Control KW. With this, you close all of the files at the top and this is again way faster than if you would click on each file on this X icon. I again use this daily and this makes my life as a developer way faster. So we have now looked at my most favorite five shortcuts and what I want to do now is customize VS Code because let's be honest, it does not look very nice. So the first thing I want to start with is the theme. Now I have already used a lot of themes, everything from free to paid, but my most favorite theme is Aura theme. Now this is a completely free to use theme. It's a dark mode theme. And as you see, the color combination is something between violet and teal. So let me right here just click on install. I want you to do the same. Then after it's installed, you will see that right here a command palette opens. And what I always use is Aura dark. So let me right here click on enter. And as you now see, our theme has changed and this already looks way nicer. So if I open a file, you already see the syntax highlighting has updated and in my opinion, it looks 10,000 times better than the default one. All right, so I think you can now agree with me that our theme looks quite nice. Nevertheless, if you open your explorer right here again, so command B, that's our shortcut, you right here see our code structure. We see our files, we see our folders, and would you agree with me that the icons don't look very good? I think they're not very beautiful. So let's update that. Let's right here again on the left side, open our extensions tab, and inside of here, you can search for icons. Then right here, you will then see a result, which is, please don't blame me if I don't pronounce this correctly. So something like cat, Putin, perfect icons, something like that. You will find that if you search for it. And this is right here, unofficial. Nevertheless, I think this is the better version than the official one. 
So what you can do right here is click on install and what I'll choose right here is the first option. So perfect mocker. Let me right here click on enter and if I can open my explorer you already see hey this looks very nice. Now if you want to you can also change it so you can right here click on set file icon theme and then right here you can select whatever you want. So for example right here Monokai looks quite good or Sequoia looks quite good or dark. So let me right here just choose perfect dark and let's leave it like that. So this looks already way better. All right, we're now done with our theme, our icon library, and I would say that they look quite presentable and quite nice. Nevertheless, there's one thing which I don't like, and this is our layout. So currently you see we have our sidebar on the left side. And this means if I, for example, write here some code, so I'll just write something. And then if I have to open my sidebar, you'll see that my code will always right here just deviate to the right side. I don't really like that. I don't think this is very ergonomical. So what we could do is change the sidebar layout from the left side to the right side. So what we can do right here is go to the sidebar, click on the right mouse button, and then right here you will see a move primary sidebar right button. Let me click on this and now you see our sidebar is on the right side. And this also means if I write right here some code, so I'll just write something, and if I open the sidebar, you see my code does not deviate to the right or left side, it stays where it is, and that's exactly what I want because I don't like this shifting of code, it isn't very nice for the eyes. Since we have now updated our layout, there's one more thing which I don't really like. So let's say we want to update the section to a div element. So let me write div right here. You'll see we get an error. Why do I get an error? Well, that's because at the bottom, I also have to update the section element to a div element. Yeah, not very fast, right? So what can we do to make it more economical and more fast? Well, there's a very interesting setting. So right here on the bottom right, we have right here the settings icon. Let's click on that. And what I want to search for right here is linked editing. So right here you see editor colon linked editing and this controls whether the editor has linked editing enabled depending on the language related symbols such as HTML tags are updated while editing. So let me right here select this. Then I can close again our file with command W or control W. And if I now update, for example, this diff again to a section and then update the section to a diff, you'll see at the bottom my diff or in other words, my section element has automatically updated to a diff element. So this is way faster, more ergonomic and very important if you are a web developer. All right, and since we have now talked about the theme, the layout, settings, the icon library and everything like that, let's now continue to my most favorite extensions. So right here in the sidebar, we can have our extensions tab. And the first extension I always install is Super Maven. If you have never heard about Super Maven, this is like a co-pilot and this is not sponsored. I just use it, I like it, so I will share it with you. They don't pay me anything. They don't even know that I make a video. So yeah, just for your information. But Super Maven is a co-pilot. It's just like GitHub Copilot, but it's free. It's way faster than GitHub Copilot and I would also say it's more reliable. So it gives you auto-generation, auto-completion, finishes everything for me. So what you have to do is just click on install and when it's installed you will see right here a new icon. You have to click on it and then you will have to sign in or in other words you will have to register. And since we have now talked about Super Maven, let's now come to our second extension and this is right here code time. With this it just makes it very easy to for example track and analyze your coding time generally but also project specific so with code time I just see hey I worked on this project this many hours and on this project this many hours and this day I worked 10 hours or 8 hours and just in general it makes it way easier to track my coding time and this is something I would recommend to you guys because it's just very nice to see statistics about your coding. And this is again completely free to use you have to install it sign in they have a web version where you can see everything Oh, right everyone, we have now looked at everything you need to become more productive in VS Code. Themes, shortcuts, settings, layouts, extensions, and just in general everything that I like when I use VS Code. Now if you have any suggestions or anything you want to add to this video, I would highly appreciate a comment in the comment section so that I can learn something and that also other people can learn something from maybe your experience. Now if you found this video helpful or just in general if you enjoyed it, I would highly appreciate if you would subscribe, if you would like, 
and maybe you should consider becoming a channel member to get access to videos as this, this, this or this one right here. And now I hope you enjoy your day. I hope I can see you on the next video and now bye.